In this video, we're going to look at the text in zone behavior. Now, this is a fairly simple one, but I kind of wanted to demonstrate this one because it gives another avenue to explore when it comes to this game maker. You know, I think a lot of times when you look at this, you think first person, first person shooters, but this could also be a uh, visual novel, right? There's a lot of people that actually like the visual novel. Um, style and there's a lot you could do with that and so uh, let me just show you what I did here in this simple scene um, we're gonna walk forward and as I walk into the zone you can see some text it's kind of faint there I'll, sh I'll just kind of put it <laughs> towards the grass so we can see it so it says you arrived at the crime scene search for clues and discovered what happened here okay so we're gonna move forward Witnesses report hearing gunshots and later a couple of men shouting and screaming. Okay, so you can see the, the witness over there getting interviewed. We're just going to move forward into the crime scene. Over here we have some shell casings. It says three 9mm case, shell casings were found along with a blood stain on that nearby box. Alright, so it looks like somebody got shot here. Let's keep going. A blood trail leads around this corner. The victim couldn't have gone far. Alright, so we're just going to snake our way through here and keep looking around. Here we are. A bloody handprint. Fingerprints or DNA might tell us who the victim was. Okay. So we're going to move on a little bit further. I'm just kind of creeping through slowly. Um, okay, so here's another scene. More signs of a struggle and a blood trail to follow. Alright, so you can see there's like a turned over um, construction hat and the tool's been knocked over. So a little struggle there. And we come around this corner. And there's our shoes. It says, that's odd. Uh, shoes left behind. But why? So that's kind of the end of the novel. You know, you could take it from there and kind of, you know, like where I was going with this was uh, maybe there was like a mob boss and they got a hold of the construction worker and gave him cement shoes and then threw them in the lake you know that's kind of where i was going with this one a little dark i know but the point is is that you you know you, you can go uh pretty far with just this one simple behavior and make a whole story a whole visual novel uh just with this one behavior so it's, it's kind of neat um i do wish that we could move the text and I do wish that we could make the text larger and different colors, especially for accessibility purposes. That's going to be a big issue, I think, in the future. And it's something I, I plan to stress to uh, Lee and the team is that there needs to definitely be the uh, ability to include accessibility features, right? We, you know, we want to take care of our um our players colorblind people people with visual impairment uh people you know i i'd like to see better key bindings etc cetera, etc cetera. so all right so let's just take a look at the text and zone behavior like i said it's fairly simple but as you can see there's a lot you can do with it so uh we put our text prompt here now this is uh, fairly short I, I could keep typing but it's going to cut me off right there so there's not a lot of characters available, and that's why I had to do multiple zones. Uh, the zone height is just going to be how far above the zone can you be for in the text still show up. So this doesn't have to be, you know, a, a visual novel. This could be um, a tutorial, right? So you're having the, the player walk through and it says, you know, press C to crouch, you know, or something to that effect. Um, so there's different things you can use this for only once checkbox that just means that if I walk out of the zone and back into the zone it's not going to show up again if I just check that box only once and then start at spawn uh, that is uh, or some sorry spawn at start rather that means that the uh, zone will be activated immediately when the game begins it doesn't have to be uh, activated by like a, a trigger or some other means it's just immediately available. And so I kept this uh, pretty much default uh, just to set this up. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new, please be sure to click the like button below. 
Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and the bell icon's your friend to, for notifications on new videos anytime they're posted. Thanks so much for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.